and power outages this morning caused big headaches for folks in Forest Acres and some areas of Columbia as well. Now, according to Dominion, we just spoke with them. They say all of the power has been restored. But here's what we know at about 915 this morning, power went out in Forest Acres and again, parts of Columbia causing tie ups at major intersections like you just saw at Trenum and Forest. Dominion Energy says at its peak, 10,000 customers were without power because of equipment failure at one of their substations. And witnesses tell News 19 multiple intersections traffic lights were out, causing a lot of confusion. Officers, though, were on scene to try and direct traffic, like at this intersection at Beltline and Two Notch. Um, now, as we told you, we heard from Dominion Energy, and the problem was a failure of equipment at a substation. And we spoke with the owner of the House of Birdie Interiors. It's right, right next to Wallpaper Additions on Forest Drive. And she says she woke up to a text that the power was out. She was very worried, but then the lights came back on. She says power was out for about an hour in total. And as we know, Forest Drive is very busy. A lot of people racing to work and getting breakfast and power was out for businesses like Lizard's Thicket, Walmart and McDonald's. We spoke with the McDonald's manager at the intersection of Beltline and Two Notch. We worked till maybe about 10 and all of a sudden just the power just went kaput. So basically what we had to do, we kind of had to rush to get our custom debt already paid kind of out. We had to kind of let the customers that were inside out of the restaurant because you can't have anyone inside except the crew. So that kind of hurt us a little bit between breakfast because we were just getting ready to go into lunch actually. So we kind of had to waste all of our breakfast food that we had. We can't have any breakfast, eggs, sausage, McGriddles, hotcakes. Can't have that stuff sitting out for however long. Sounds like they took care of business. William says they were without power for about 45 minutes. So um, as we said, we heard from Dominion. They say now all of the power is back on that was knocked out because of that issue at the substation. So you can check out all of these stories at WLTX.com.